Hello everybody and welcome to Baby Dragon's Playground. Now this is not going to be a series of one game but instead a collection of different games that we will be testing out and presenting it to, to all of you there. So the idea really is to try different games every one or two weeks. I think that's roughly how often we'll, we'll post them here. And um, we're essentially looking for a new, new playthrough. So under the video and on each of those recordings i will also be leaving a comment and that is the way you can really tell us or tell me which game should we turn into our next playthrough so the more likes the comment receives the higher the chances of having this as a playthrough and the first game on our list is going to be frostpunk which is not a new game it came out i believe in 2019 However, it is definitely one of my favorite games of, of all time, I must say. And uh, the reason for that really is, is just the, the approach and the idea behind this and how this game has been developed as well. Uh, I think it's probably one of the most difficult games I've played before in its uh, extreme mode, of course. And the, the game does have a very beautiful scenario, which I think if we were to do a playthrough on this, that's where we would um, go through the scenario games. But in this one, because this, these videos will only be about 15 to maybe 25 minutes long, we'll go with the endless mode. And there's three options over, over here, but we are, will pick the endurance. And now we've got a selection of different maps. Now the rifts and let's see, a couple more were actually a DLC. But we will pick, let's see, not the flats, maybe the crater. And um, right, we shall customize. So you have an option to either go easy, medium, hard or extreme. Now, since I have played this game quite a few times actually before, I shall go with hard, but not the extreme. Because I also do want to have a bit of progress in each episode and to be able to show you what this game really is about. So right, we've got the greater on hard difficulty. So let's jump uh, straight into it. Alright, and in Frostpunk, we start out, let me just actually confirm, oh, okay, we've got a name, let's go with uh, the Ark, that will be perfect, I'm gonna stop the poster time, and essentially we start with the generator, now this is what's gonna keep us warm, because outside it is minus and 30 degrees by Celsius. Now the UI is very clean and simple, we've got a few resources here, we've got coal, wood, steel and steam cores. So steam cores will be used for some special buildings but on the right hand side we got the raw food and food rations. So essentially food rations is once we've turned raw food into actual food that the people will preferably eat. And then we got the, the time over here that we can control uh, the temperature. When we click on this we get the overlay of how warm our settlement is and right now it is not warm at all. Then at the bottom we've got a construction menu of different buildings that we can we can build here and different services we can provide our society. Uh, right now it is also saying we've got 80 homeless because we have not built them any homes just yet. And the few things we do have to um, stay on top of are the discontent and the people's hope. On the right hand side we've got the book of laws so we can go into adaption and do some different laws over here that will raise or lower discontent and hope. But we also got purpose. We can we can go the religious way, or the, through the neighborhood watch over here and and really turn up the efficiency and uh, essentially uh, force people to work faster and more for us. And then the last one is just the economy that gives you a rough overview of what's happening. Now the population is made of workers, engineers, and children. Right now, the children cannot really work anywhere, but there are laws that we can we can sign and we we could put the children to work in the mines as well if we if we wanted to. But okay, so the first thing I typically like to build is go straight into the workshop over here. Let's see if we can line it up. That looks pretty good. So we'll build the workshop and um, for, for the first law, we'll probably go into the emergency shift. Now we don't have, we don't start out with a lot of resources. So what we will probably want is lots of wood. 
will turn on the emergency shift. So that means the people will be working for the next 20, 24 hours. We'll do the same for another stack over there. And let's see, we need some coal as well. So maybe we'll take one of those coal piles from, from here and turn into, you into an emergency shift as well. Now we've got five engineers, but that is fine. They can just build the workshop. Actually, let's pause it, unpause it. Yep, five of them are building this now. And the workshop is essentially research. In order to, to provide better homes and uh, additional buildings, we have to do quite a bit of research. And as soon as it is built, let me just speed up the time a little bit, then we'll be able to take a look at that as well. So add new research. We've got four categories here. We've got the heating, uh, exploration and industry, resources, then food, sh food, health and shelter. Now, most of the time I do like to go with the with the beacon, but that means we need to employ some engineers here first. And yeah, let's do the beacon. And the beacon is a building that allows us to explore the outside area of this crater. Okay, we've got our first event that has popped up. Working day and night. Sir, people are questioning the need for us for so many emergency shifts. They understand that our situation requires hard work from everyone, but do we really have to rely on heroic efforts so often? A break would be nice. Uh, we... It's a good idea, but no, we're not going to stop using the emergency shifts. So, yeah, they are not very happy with our decision. So, um, yeah. All right. Uh, another thing, because people are working very long shifts and it's very cold outside, they will also be getting sick. So for that, I think we shall build two medical posts. And coal-wise, let's see how many... How much coal are you going to use? You're going to use six coal. We'll have to turn on the generator during the night because it gets pretty pretty freezing. I actually keep the workers in here, but I'll take the engineers out. Right, so it is almost seven o'clock. Six o'clock is when the normal shifts would stop, and that is the case currently in the, in the workshop. But everyone else will be still working. No roof over our heads. Captain... People are understandably concerned about the lack of shelter. They're falling ill from sleeping outside in this terrible cold. We'd better do something about it. All right, we'll provide some shelter. So we have to provide, we have two days to provide shelter for 40 people. And the other one is uh, for everyone. Nope, we will, we shall provide some shelter. So they are going to live in the, those miserable freezing tents. But that's going to keep them... Uh, a little warm right another thing in the ui which you might have noticed here is we've got this notification that tells us what day it is currently oh we should probably turn on the generator as well just to heat this place up a little bit but yeah so we're on day one and then in about what is it day three it will become a little bit warmer until it's gonna drop down to minus so that's gonna be minus 20 and then it's gonna go back to minus 40. All right, another event. The heating is off. Yep, we've just turned it on. That's fine. All right, uh, anyone sick? No one is sick just yet, which is surprising. I am sure some people will fall sick. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into overdrive just to make this area a little bit more comfortable for everyone. Right, we've got our first few sick people now. So let me just put a few engineers... Shelter promise fulfilled. Everyone feels relieved with a roof, even a flapping one over their head. Hope rises. That is fantastic. Uh, so let's hope we are not going to go over 10 sick people. Because we only have space for 5 in our medical post. Uh, that is 10. Yep, we went over 10. But that's not ideal because... That means they're not going to be as efficient. But oh well. Now, time for the next law. And I think this time we might go... We are going to do extended shift, actually. Because that means we can make those engineers work a few extra hours. And research is the key in this game. Now, let's have a look in one of those wood crates. It is very cold. Well, just cold. And we got... Another 14 logs or trees that we can, or wood crates that we can bring back to our colony. Good. Okay, so field shelters are in place. Actually, we can turn off the overdrive now. 
We don't need it blasting throughout the day. Let's see, you are... It's livable. Oh, there's a few sick people here as well, but as soon as one of those crates is done, which is any second from now, we shall move a few people over. And the next thing... Uh, wait, how far are we with this? Beacon is almost done. The next thing to keep the people slightly warmer and from falling sick, we shall make some gathering posts. So we'll measure out where do we want to go roughly. Maybe in here and we'll delete it later. So where could be a good spot? Maybe somewhere about... Are we right next to the road? We are. So seems like this would be the spot. Okay. And then that way they'll be a little bit warmer than just working at the site directly. Alright, we can speed up the time, or actually no, the wood crates are now depleted. We will be needing more coal, because right now, if you look at the consumption, it is right, well, just a tiny bit under. So we'll have this scattering post up here. These two are done, steel, how far are we? Just 25 left. And I think we will be soon needing another one as well. So maybe about there. Let's have a look. Um, almost. Almost in the spot where we wanted it. And let's have a closer look over here. It's sometimes difficult to really see where we need to place, it, place them. And that looks good to me. Alright, you guys can finish building those. They are going to be hungry soon, so we do have to find an extra or um, source of food. But for the time being, and there is our beacon. So let's place this down as well. I think we can, we can probably just place it somewhere close or nearby. Uh, it helps to put down those roads, so keep the synergy going and now we can delete it let's build a new road connect it up and we can choose our next research uh all right so the beacon resources uh faster gathering would be nice but also hunters here do you know what no we are gonna do a drawing boards or are we hmm because then we could go into houses and some other stuff same with the heating. Even heaters will be... Ooh, so many things. That's what I like about this game. There's so many things that you really need. But it's just very difficult to make up your mind. What should be the priority? Food and exploration is going to be the priority. So we are going to do drawing boards for now. Whilst it's still relatively warm for a few days. And let's hope... They finish those gathering posts as well because we are going to need uh, quite a bit more coal. Right, another event. Working day and night, sir. People are questioning the need for so many emergency shifts. Uh, da -da -da, good idea. No, it is not. I will not address this right now. And I'm also thinking, how many engineers do we have? We have 15. Uh, but they are in medical posts. Okay. So yeah, we do need to have this beacon up and running ASAP. Uh, beacon has been built. Uh, we don't have enough wood. Right. Okay. Into this gathering post and also... Let's do five in both. We need to be harvesting all those resources. Awesome. Do we have any spare people anywhere? So if you hold down, sh uh, what is it, Alt key, it's going to highlight where people are working. So we've got 15 in there, which is fine. Here we'll be gathering. Okay, we should have 40 wood fairly quickly. Uh, we'll just speed up the time. Oh, no. Not quite enough time. We could have turned on the longer shifts, actually. Discontent is high, but uh, it's not... It's it's we we can work with that, right? So the next thing we can we can do. We could ask the children to get out there and work work for us. 
However, overcrowding medical tents would be preferable. Um, let's see. I think we'll do... Maybe we'll be nice to our people and we'll sustain, sustain life. Okay, uh, another event. Workers needed. There's so much to do and not enough hands to do it. A quick way to addressing this problem is to put our children to work. Oh, consider signing. Right, so they do want the children, poor children, to work in these miserable conditions. Well, can't blame them. They are pretty, pretty desperate. And uh, another way how we can... Oh, we... I was just thinking we've only got 20 homeless people. We could put a few more tents in here. However... We're gonna need that extra bit of wood to send out our scouts. And the mistake I already made here is... I forgot to delete those tents. We would have had the wood. We would have those scouts out. But I... I just forgot to delete them. Right, so... It seems... Half our colony is already hungry, so we are going to need a cookhouse. Now, I would prefer to build it closer to the generator to keep it warm. Uh, but I think, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have a look where we can put it. Okay, let's try and get... Ooh, don't have a lot of coal left, so how about we'll turn off the generator for now? Right, so we've got 15 people now. Steel wreck is done. We've almost got enough wood. Just six more. Yep. And now we can take a look at this as well. Right. So with the beacon, we can send scouts to different locations to, locations to find resources, but also other survivors. And there's the abandoned sawmill. So I think we'll head there first just to see what they have. Uh, unfortunately, that used up some of our population which uh, is very much needed here well it's only five so that that is okay but the next thing for us to do is i think these places are well they're they're chilly so but we also need a lot of coal so let's uh let's do something like this oh we the road does not seem to be long enough right we are gonna need a little bit more wood for that Let's see if we can connect it up now. Yes, we can. Beautiful. And here we see our scouts disappearing into the distance. Ooh. Okay, we are going to need to select another research as well. We could go with more scouts, which is exactly what we shall do. And since the people have demanded to get the kids working, helping out the colony, so... Yeah, we got options. We can do child shelters, which uh, leads to uh, children potentially being trained to become, uh, to assist in, what are they called, the um, uh, the medical huts and also with the engineers. But we got another option for child labor, uh, safe jobs, which means we can send them to mines. Now, should we do go with all jobs or... Should we be nice to our children? We could benefit with the extra research and medical bonuses. However, this time we are going to go with the children helping us, us out with some safer jobs. So for example, in this one we can take out all the workers and put children to work in there. Now food. We are going to need this cookhouse so 20 wood is needed. We've got 15 people here. So how about... Uh, I think this gathering post will be fine here. I would like to have this coal pile depleted. And we might do another gathering post there. Right, how many wood do we need again? 20. Okay, so how about... 5 of you there. Another 5 there. And we've got the 20, so... <laughs> Temperature drops quite a bit. I think I'll prefer to put the houses houses there. So let's do a cookhouse here. And we might also need some hunter's huts as well to send people out into the wastelands or the frozen lands to find us some food. Right, the shift seems to be complete, but not for everyone. 
We've still got some gatherers and some engineers. Another event that's probably because the generator is off. So yeah, let's let's turn it on. They need a bit of extra heat and I'd really like to give them a few more tents as well. So let's build one more so 10 more people can stay relatively warm. Actually, those conditions are outstanding. Yeah, you don't see this very often in, uh, for example, in the extreme mode where the thermometer is sitting in red. But that is that is looking good. So sick people is a huge problem. I think in this building here, we shall put children to cook us some more food. Oh, they've already started eating our rations, so that's that that's not good. Not rations, the raw food. Um, yeah, well. Turn on the overdrive. Too many. I don't really like the high number of sick people, but uh, yeah, we'll definitely do something about it. All right, is the cookhouse running now? Yes, it is. Beautiful. Oh, uh, it is not going to last very long, but it will keep them alive for a little, little bit longer. Let's turn off the overdrive as well. I think since it's so warm outside. We shall turn off the generator generator altogether to conserve some of our coal reserves for when it gets colder. Right, so let's pile up the all the wood that you can get from here and time for another law. Right, so the options are overcrowding. Yes, we are going to go with that, which means we can take care of more sick people. Now this also means right now we got 10. We could go with another workshop and speed up the research even further. And I think that's what we will do. So all the sick can stay in this medical post now. Okay, our first scout team is almost at the at the site. Uh whilst we're waiting for them. We are going to need hunters huts, actually. Do you know what? Yeah. I think bringing them out here will be good enough. So let's measure this out again. Mm, let's see how far we can we can build them. Because they don't really need to... If I remember correctly, they don't really need to be you know, kept warm. So something like that over there will be good. Oh, wait. Oh yeah, we don't have enough wood. So let's delete this small, tiny section there. And now we can connect them up. Okay, coal pile depleted. Nice, and more scouts have been researched as well. We are going to need 40 wood for that, so... Ooh, okay. Gotcha. Next research, we shall do probably heaters, but we're going to need... Or maybe hunt this gear, actually, to get some more more food from them and uh, since we don't have a lot of food uh, wood right now let's just let them complete a few buildings actually we just received some more so yeah let's do hunt this gear and you are done now aren't you yes and the scouts have received uh, reached the abandoned sawmill let's have a look and there wasn't much left but we'll take the 60 60 wood and we can just carry carry on exploring the frostland but okay, so uh, I think that is enough to, to really show you what this game is about. It can get pretty brutal and it, it's a really fun and frustrating game to play. But um, uh, but yeah, if you uh, if, if this is um, something that you'd like us to uh, play some more in the future, then uh, please do leave a like in the in the comment sections be uh, below. And, and if we do get uh, enough feedback, positive feedback, then we'll turn it into a playthrough. With that being said, thank you very much everyone for joining and uh, we'll see you in the next game.